Victoria Beach on the Dead Sea. And it's beautiful. It's hot. Seen pictures of the caves. You're about to see the cave, and the picture off the page, it looks just like it, believe it or not. This place is so important to me, and it's important to every biblical scholar because this, in some ways, is the ground zero of textual criticism. So, shall we go look at Cave 4, where they found the majority of the scrolls? Let's go see it. When Saul chased David away, this is one of the places he hid. Have you ever wondered how could David, with a small army, defend himself from great King Saul? Well, you're about to find out. He knows these mountains every inch, every cliff, every cave, every watering hole. This is an oasis in the desert. So when you're running from a king, not a bad place to go. Check this out. Psalm 22, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from saving me? So far from my cries of anguish. My God, I cry out day by day, but you don't answer. By night, but I find no rest. Yet you are the, the enthroned as the Holy One. You are the, you are the one Israel praises in our ancestors' lives. Posterity will serve Him. Future generations will be told about the Lord. They will proclaim His righteousness, declaring to a people yet unborn, He has done it. That's the psalm that was written here in the heart of a man who, who, who was just just could not understand the distance between what God had promised and walking into that promise. And it's the very words that not only define and speak into his death on the cross, but they're the ones that Jesus literally held on to in those last moments, written here.